beautiful people welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching this video today if you are new here please do not forget give us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe all right subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that when i post the next video you would be the first to watch thank you so much so today's video i want to talk about some opportunities that you are going to need some of the things that you need to put into consideration if you intend to migrate to canada now let's start with the proof of funds but before i talk about the proof of funds which is going to be um, the information in this video i want to draw your attention to the fact that you are going to show a lot of evidence you are going to show a lot of things in case you really want to move to canada especially when it comes to proof of funds and home ties now let me explain i will basically focus on proof of funds here how to document for the other videos on home ties and letter of explanation you can watch them on my YouTube channel. They are all here. But the proof of funds, let me explain. Guys, pay your tuition fee completely without showing the necessary amounts of funds will still not give you a visa. Paying half of your tuition fee, whereas you were not asked to pay without documenting all the documents well, and also the proof of funds will still not give you a visa to Canada. Put this into consideration. It is very, very important. Because I get a lot of people, they come to me, they are like, Milton, um, I paid my fees and I was still refused the visa. Yes, it's because you didn't show what they are asking you to do. For example, when you are studying, when you are applying to a school in Canada, there are two things involved. Now, the first thing you need to take note of is your tuition fee. And the second thing you need to put into consideration is how am I supposed to fund this program? Now, if you look at a school and you see that the tuition fee is affordable and you know how you're going to fund your program, it's good to go. If you see that the tuition is quite expensive and you know how you are going to fund your program, you are good to go. But one, pay attention to proof of funds. Remember, you first of all need to go through the college website. As I speak to you, some colleges are already open for January, for September 2024 intake. So if you apply now, gain admissions, you are going to be applying for your visa very soon to move by September or to start lectures by September. This is something you need to put into consideration. Now, when you take a look at the colleges, I'm not talking about universities. I'm talking about colleges now. If you take a look at the colleges, you are going to find a lot of the programs. The reason why I'm focusing more on colleges and not universities, of course, if you study in university and someone studying in a college, you guys still have the results. You guys still have the qualifications. You guys can still use your degrees and apply for PR. Same way. But now it depends on what you are looking at. If you want to chase diplomas or certificates or degrees, the choice is yours. You have to make a decision. Now, when you apply to a school, after you gain admissions, I would like to say that early application is very important when it comes to study in Canada because you have to apply for visa. Not only you... Uh, you not only you are submitting the visa application you are not the only one a lot of other people are equally submitting their visa application so you need to put this into consideration get your offer letter quickly start your visa application early then you continue with the other documentation it is important in case you get the visa fine in case you don't get it you prepare and you launch you relaunch the application again okay this is the only way you need to keep pushing till you get there i hope you understand now, when you get this offer, you have your offer letter. Maybe the school was asking you to pay 500. You have paid. Now it's time for visa application. Now, Milton, oh, I don't have a proof of funds. What am I going to do? This is not something you are going to decide on now. You should have thought of this long time ago before you start the process. Okay, you have to think about this before you start the process. Now, you have somebody to do the proof of funds for you. How is the proof of funds going to look like? According to the government of Canada, you need to have 10,000 Canadian dollars in your bank account or in your sponsor's account to show as living costs. The second option you need to do or the second thing you need to do is you need to gather all your entire tuition fee. Well, according to IRCC, you need just your tuition fee for one year. But if you ask me or my opinion, I would say that if you have all the money, put it in your account or in your sponsor's account. If you do not have all the money, okay. Put the one year and you keep praying. Visa is not all about a proof of funds. God also intervenes in certain aspects. So please make sure you call God closer. Now, when you put this money, 
that is not all there is something called miscellaneous you also need to put miscellaneous in that same bank account so in essence you need money for living cost your entire tuition fee or your tuition fee for one year and miscellaneous like i said i would prefer you put all your tuition fee okay but if you do not have all the money no problem leave it you take one year now when you put this this is the proof of funds this is not all about the proof of funds this is the figure you need but this is not all now this money in this account where is the money coming from who gave you the money is it your money if yes how did you get the money are you working where is your employment contract where are your pay slips now if this money is from your parents are they working what do they do if they are working where is their employment contract where are their pay slips if they don't work if they own a farmland is the farmland registered is there a title for the land and can you show pictures as well that this is where the money is coming from what are they selling to get the money can you show pictures and evidence or receipts this is how you show proof of funds now the same thing goes for your brother for your, your father or your mother now in case you are being sponsored by your brother or sister what do your brother do what is your sister doing is she a business person is she working is she in a foreign country is she legal in that country does she work does she has a full-time job can you show documents can you show letters can you show pictures excellent bring them out if they have their own business is their business registered can you show evidence that these people are your brothers or sisters okay now if they have a business what happens if you are using their business account what happens in case this business collapse it means that you are going to withdraw withdrawn from school are you not going to go to school again what will happen this is drawing me back to the issue i said please i will not advise you to use a business account a business account is a very dangerous account and it can lead to your rejection okay i will not advise you to use a business account so please get a normal account if your sister has a business or if you have your business if it's your business account fine i can support that but if it's a business that belongs to somebody else i will not support that what if the business collapse tomorrow the visa officer is going to ask this question remember you are not going to go face to face with anybody like a visa officer or something you are the one who has to put all of this on paper then you submit your application online they are going to evaluate you only online so please put all this into consideration it is very very important now the proof of funds has not ended let's assume that all these people you don't have money all these people don't have money that i mentioned right but maybe your parents have a plot of land somewhere and they are willing to sell the land and sponsor you to study abroad why not it's possible now the money in your account you are saying that the money may be an example 28 million and you are saying that your parents sold a land to gather that money now the first thing first the visa officer will want to see where is the proof that they sold the land again the account that this money is coming from to your own account is it corresponding with the people who bought the land or is it corresponding with the person who bought the land but again this money is coming from your parents let's assume that you have the pictures or maybe they didn't sell a land let's assume that they just have the money saved somewhere now your next question should be what if the visa officer asks me how did i get this money into my account there is no proof and i will be saying that the money came from my mother is there a proof that i can back it in this case now you tell your mother to do what to write a document for you this document is called a give deed letter your mother will write to explain that this person is my son he wants to go and study in this country and i am gifting him this also and so amount of money to go and use to for the studies purpose for his studies and i am not going to collect this money again he would be using this money for his academics and other living expenses i am not collecting the money again so i have signed that i'm not going to collect anything i have dashed him the money this is what we call a give it letter your parents can write it for you your brother can write it anybody can write it but they must they should be your mother your father your brother or sister these people they are related to you somehow they cannot lie in case they are the one writing this letter okay so you have to explain all of this to the visa officer it's very very important they need to know all of this they want to know all of this they want to know how everything is working then you bring supporting documents their birth certificate their id cards and stuff like that you present to them 
all right to the visa officer you upload them online as well then maybe you bring your mother's birth certificate of course you have to bring it remember this is not all you need there are a lot of other things you need to put into consideration letter of explanation home ties and there are a lot of videos on this channel i've been talking about home ties letter of explanation how to select programs how uh, program availability program choice can affect your visa there are videos here you can watch okay i hope this video will help you now when you do this and you apply before you even apply remember you have to pay some fees online when you have paid the fees you are now going to relax you now need to go and relax home and while relaxing remember that there is a lot okay that the visa officer will check so whatsoever the situation is keep moving if it's positive, keep moving. If it's negative, keep moving because the college is calling you to come and study. First rejection can be a rejection, but the last rejection, if you withdraw without going through the last rejection, it means that you are weak. Okay, I hope this video helps somebody. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and turn on the bell so that we can continue. Till we meet again in another one.